Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Do we get to have a fun conversation today or what? Yesterday was the biggest mistake that EA made in the entire year so far of FC24. They gave out a 9 million coin team of the year card to way more people than they were supposed to. We're talking about team of the year Messi and the whole situation regarding his card right now on this game there was a player pick release ea took it away because the pack weight on that card was glitched it was too good will it come back will they compensate what has this done to the game we're going to uncover it all today and of course look forward a little bit there was other stuff that happened yesterday besides the team of the year messi debacle right we have leaks about the next promo it's not what we thought it was and a crazy new evo that gives out the first double play style card in evolutions if you're excited for the video today drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's start by going to objectives and cover the content that dropped yesterday that wasn't related to the whole Team of the Year messy situation. We had Team of the Year, Year in Review, number three. And it gives out this 88-rated Kubo, four-star, four-star, left-footed, technical plus. Kubo's a very popular card. I mean, it makes sense that he's in the Year in Review. He had a Player of the Month earlier on this year in... Um, the first stages of FC24, and also, what was it, a Trailblazers card uh, that was very, very hyped as well. He can play Cam, Striker, right wing, right mid. Pretty easy card to get done. Doesn't have the best play styles, but he's always very meta in this game because he is very good at dribbling. And this is the final installment of the Team of the Year, um, what is it, the Year in Review a Completionist Objective, which if you complete all these, you do get some packs and an 84 times 5 at the end. So there's two days left to get that done. That was the only objective content yesterday. So make sure if you want to get that done, you go ahead and finish off that segment. Now, let's quickly go to the other piece of content yesterday that is not an SBCs. It was an Evos, right? We already touched on it. The Double Plus Pursuit Evolution. This Tamizi card looks cracked, by the way. Guys, this is the first Evo that gives out two playstyle pluses without using any sort of unclaimed Evo glitch or any sort of madness along with that. Two playstyle pluses, the Energizer Plus, Relentless Plus, as I call it, and the Incisive Pass. Both very, very usable for the midfield, especially playstyle pluses. You also get not one, but plus two stars on the weak foot of the card that you were upgrading through this Evo. Guys, this Evo is actually pretty crazy. Like, it is not, of course, the most... Like, I don't know, most fun. I think people look at Evos like this and they say, Ah, Nate, I have to put in a silver or a bronze or like a 75 rated gold card, right? Max 75 rated to start off this Evo. That's an L, right? Well, you can put in a card like that Tamizi and end up with a full meta center mid, center defensive mid beast. And it's just a card you're going to be able to have a lot of fun with. I know that it's 100,000 coins or 500 FC points. That's not a lot, um, to be completely honest. Like, this Evo giving out two place to pluses, they could have made it expensive like the Icons and made it 200k. They only made it 100,000 coins. It's 36% upvoted, but I think that there's a lot of hype that could have been on this Evo that was just placed elsewhere yesterday because of, of course, other things that were going on. Now, the one thing I want to talk to you guys about, too, is... Once again, always be careful about the Evos that show up on Footbin because like this Adopo card, you can't get this card, right? This 89 rated version of him, at least through this method, does not work because these two Evos are not out anymore. So be careful. As always, there are a lot of bronze cards and silver cards that are flying for this evolution. This Ferguson card, I think, is this silver 10K? It was at one point. Oh, he's back down to 2,000 coins. But when this Evo was first leaked, this card went all the way up to 10,000 coins, right? His Evo is one that actually you can just put his silver card straight in. He goes three star, five star, high, high work rates, and he's almost hullet gang except for the defense. There are some really nuts combinations out there. Um, Mainu is another one. Okay, this one you can't do. There's so many combinations for Mainu now. It's crazy with all these Evos. It's kind of hard to keep up. But what I would tell you to do, go to Footbin, go to Foot.gg, find an Evo card that you want to put into this. You know, you got 20 days to do it. So just find somebody from your favorite club, whatever you're doing with Evolutions. I'm starting to work for players from my favorite club, Spurs, and from favorite nation, USA, uh, obviously. So that's kind of what I'm doing with Evo is just trying to have more fun with it. And this is one that I would encourage you guys to do. Like trade your way to 100K, maybe leave a couple uh, days. Like don't, don't decide on it right now, but wait a couple days and then decide to do it because that's a pretty crazy Evo, right? You can make somebody who's never going to get a promo card actually really, really meta. And speaking of evolutions, there was actually, if you guys saw this yesterday on Twitter, X, 
uh, there was some Evo glitching craziness that finally came to fruition as a lot of people used this last Evo to make some of the craziest cards um, possible in this game. I don't. Th this is not possible anymore. But a 93 Kobe Manu was created using multiple unclaimed Evo glitches, which of course EA is trying to shut down right now. And that is why we have the whole uh, in-progress evolution requirement inside of these Evos. But there's still some workarounds for a couple things. And that's why you see these people tweeting out these crazy 93 rated Kobe Manu cards with four playstyle pluses. Like, that is wild. Four playstyle pluses. You're not going to see very many of these in the game. It's impacting very, very small amounts of gameplay. I, I would be surprised if you matched one of these, to be completely honest, because so few people um, have this stuff, and it's really not even possible anymore with how EA is changing the game. But, again, Kobe Mainu, very popular bronze card that you will see his his card. People will see that card on Footbin, and they'll go. I think yesterday, Kobe Mainu's bronze card was all the way up to 10,000 coins again. What is he right now? 9500 like that evo is not possible like seriously that, that evolution that you just saw right there is not possible so be very careful when you're looking at these evos in my opinion foot.gg is the best place to look at evos go to evolutions click into here search the player like if menu is going to fit he'll show in here you can see that menu's card with this evo goes to a 76 rated item so that's not the card that you see on footbin that's the real card that you get if you plug and play it. So just be careful, right? And there still are a lot of Evo glitches that are going on. People are figuring that out and stuff. But I had to talk, show that and talk to you guys about that because um, that was a pretty crazy thing before the content drop happened yesterday uh, that was making rounds and that a lot of people saw. So I wanted to kind of cover that. But let's get into the situation, guys. Let's talk about Team of the Year Messi. Now... It all started yesterday with a simple 86 plus player pick that we talked about. It was leaked yesterday. Two days ago, it was leaked. It came out yesterday at the content drop. It was exactly as advertised. It looked like there was nothing wrong with it for like the first two minutes that it was released. And this player pick that we're talking about is no longer in the store as of right now. Um, they took it away really fast because it was glitched. This is the player pick right here. The team of the year leagues player pick. It is a one of three rare goal players pick. 86 plus rated from all of the leagues that are that have team of the year players from them right so you've got every single league in here men's and women's league from the top five nations five leagues excuse me and then you have mls nwsl and a saudi league right so all the top five leagues are considered in here every single team of the year is packable from this player pick just like we said in yesterday's video this player pick looked like it was going to be the best one-off chance of a pack that we would all have to pack a team of the year card but we had no idea that when it was going to be released that i don't even know what the percentage is guys but it seemed like every other person or maybe 25 percent at least somewhere around the 20 percent range for sure was getting this team of the year messi got packed by so many people on the game yesterday it was broken okay that's the only word to describe it the team of, of the, the team of your league's player pick was broken it had to be because messi was the only 86 plus card in the mls so however this player pick was coded like you think about it it's a player pool all the players that are inside of it the golds maybe a couple informs and then the team of the years that are inside this player pool when the player pick goes in to reach out three players to pull up as your three options it was pulling out messi way too many times like, Messi was everywhere, man. If you go to this tweet right here, this is my tweet yesterday, right after the content dropped, nine minutes, and I tweeted out and said, do this player pick. So many people are packing Messi. I, unfortunately, was not able to pack Messi. I got, like, gold Irene Paredes from this, 88 rated, right? Look at the replies to this tweet. I'm sure you guys have seen it, right? This is just my tweet as well. Messi, 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 Messi and another team. All golds, right? This guy's sad, like a lot of us are. Messi. Messi, dude, some of these player picks in here are crazy, right? Messi again, Messi again. Wait till you see there's one down here that has multiple team of the years in it. And I want to show you. Mbappe, no Messi for him, but he got Mbappe. Like, I want this player pick to come back. Even without the Messi luck, I still want the chance. But as you can see, this is the one. Who do you even pick in that situation, man? Like, I, I, I don't even know. The Messi glitch is real, but then you got Mbappe as well. Like, that's disgusting, right? This player pick was not meant to be this good. It is glitched. It was glitched 100%. It was glitched. There was a problem with it, with the pack weight and everything. The weight was messed up. We've seen stuff like this happen before in this game. 
Think back to last year, FIFA 23. Remember there was a level 20 season reward player pick where a lot of people that got level 20 right away were able to do it and the player pool of players coming out of that player pick was very small. Remember everybody was getting Tots Rodrigo or Tots Moments Varane or Hyunmin Sun. That was an example of a glitched player pick where the weight was wrong. Maybe you think back to FIFA 21 where Summer Stars Neymar was in some sort of player pick that they dropped and it was like everybody was packing Neymar. Well, all of those examples are like towards the end of the year. This is Team of the Year Messi, 5-star skills, 97 rated, 2 playstyle pluses, 9.5 million coins. He was like 9 point, I think it was 9.7 yesterday. He kind of had a price spike right when the player pick was dropped. He was almost 10 million coins, but that's not his normal price. He was normally about 9.3 to 9.2 nine, nine two to 9.4, right? And he had a spike before the player pick dropped, and then after the player pick dropped, as everybody was packing him, he went down to 8.7, and now he's right now about 9 million but this is crazy, man. The amount of people yesterday that packed this card um, is is disgusting. Like, that, this was not supposed to happen. EA removed the SBC promptly, guys. It took them... They tweeted this out at 42 minutes after content. But it actually only took them 24 minutes to remove the SBC. Because, obviously, if you're EA, you don't want everybody having Team of the Year Messi. So, why did they remove this so fast? And as I go and show you in the SBC section right now, it's not there. I don't know if it's ever going to come back. We'll talk about that. Why'd they take it away so fast? They don't want everybody having Messi. If you think about it from EA's perspective, this is ultimate team, right? This is a game mode that we are supposed to progress our teams and upgrade and upgrade and chase the bigger cards for the entire year of this game and keep chasing to get the biggest and best ultimate team that we can get. If they give out Messi's like that, that's like just people, people that got Messi's yesterday, they don't have to like grind anymore to try to pack a really high tier Messi like you're set at either striker, cam, or right wing for the rest of the year with this card. 100%, right? I know he doesn't have the greatest of links. Argentinian icons and all MLS links that are halfway meta are flying on the market anyway. Like Javier's the 90 cent sharing card. He's up like 100k because people pack this card. They got to link him in their team somehow, right? If you don't have enough icons, right? So, so many people have this card now that they don't have to go and buy players for their teams, and that means EA could potentially make less money. That's why they took the player pick away. And that's also a sign of them saying with this tweet that they messed up, okay? They know that they messed up. But what happens now? What happens from here? People have this card, right? I'm going to say, I don't know, guys. You think about all the people that get onto content every single day for this game. Like, there are millions of daily players on this game. And even if the pack weight on this Messi was like 15 to 20% of people, which is probably a rough guesstimate based off of some polls that I saw for massive Instagram, Twitter accounts, 15 to 20% of people got this Messi yesterday in the game. Um, you know, think about how many thousands, tens of thousands, maybe even like, depending on how many people are logging on, Hundreds of thousands of Messi's that were given out? Probably tens of thousands is a better guess. But, you know, you don't know. In 24 minutes of that player pick being out, I mean, that's just crazy, right? And EA, of course, wanted to take that right away. Um, are they going to take the Messi's out of these? That's what everybody wants to know. Are they going to take the Messi's out of your accounts? Guys, no. Like, they've never, to my recollection, taken a card out of a club. Ever. I don't think they have. They've banned accounts. They've taken coins away from people and coin wiped when you break the terms of service. But this was nothing that you as the ultimate team user, if you packed Messi yesterday, did wrong. Also, if you're like me and you didn't pack Messi and you wish that you would have so badly, like me, right? I'm sure so many of us, or maybe you weren't on for content. You're like, Nate, I missed out. How, what, this is so bad, right? Like, Oh, that's the most frustrating thing. Let's go on that tangent for a second. What are they going to do? They're not going to take it out of their teams, out of your teams, right? If you got it, you got it. GG's. Enjoy that card for the rest of the year. You were a positive, you had a positive byproduct um, gift from EA because they messed up and you basically were rewarded from that from a gamble pack, right? Again, I want to stress gamble pack here. We open icon picks, we open player packs and stuff all the time that are gambles per se to try to get something good and improve our teams. And a lot of times they're, they aren't and they're pretty bad and they're not good. And that exactly is what that player pick was. It was a gamble. So we had absolutely had the chance to get something bad like a lot of us did with just getting golds. So yeah, man, um, they're not going to take the card out of clubs. They're not. I don't think they're going to do that at all. But will they compensate for this? And I'm trying to think back on some of those other 
um, aforementioned examples like Neymar uh, and the Jaden Sancho in FIFA 21, that ultimate TOTS guaranteed pack that gave out Sancho to everybody. And I'm trying to think about the 25K hero pack from last year. What they did to compensate us for those situations, guys, they really didn't do anything, especially last year with the hero and the 25K pack. Remember what they did for that? They didn't say a word. They didn't do anything about it. Now, they've at least said a word here. They've at least said a word. They've at least tweeted that they had to take away the SBC because there was an issue with it. Guys, the more that I think about this after the stream yesterday, the more that I sit down and think about this whole situation, I don't know if we're ever going to see a tweet from them again about this. I would like to think that we would, but I don't know if we will. I genuinely don't think that we will. And that makes me upset a little bit, 100%, especially of somebody who didn't pack Messi. Again, I'm not trying to sit here and say that if you didn't pack Messi, you deserved him. Nobody deserved Messi yesterday. Nobody. It was a glitch that gave out way too many Messis, like, unexpectedly, right? I didn't walk into opening that player pick thinking, oh, I'm going to get Messi. So if you got Messi, you take it, you move on, and you enjoy all your technical dribbling and your incisive passing, and you probably enjoy a lot of people that are going to quit out at nil-nil when they face you in Rivals and Champs, because this card, guys, is going to be everywhere. This card's going to be everywhere. You're going to see him in Rivals and Champs, in Qualies, like every online game mode. You're going to see him a lot until the end of the year, and it's going to become pretty annoying, I would imagine, to defend his R1 dribbling, for sure. But... That's just kind of what we have to deal with now because of, yes, EA. Guys, if there's anybody to blame here, it is once again EA because they messed up the player pick. And I'm glad they fixed it as fast as they did because imagine that this went on for hours. Think about how many more people would have Messi in their ultimate teams because of this. Now, will they give anything back? I have a little bit of hope that they might do something. Again, my expectation, if I had to tell you right now what I think they're going to do, I think they're going to do nothing about this. It's going to skate on. We're going to remember it like the 25K Hero Pack last year as the biggest mistake that EA made in FC24. I think that's how it's going to go. I'm holding on to a slight bit of hope because they tweeted about it. And if they're going to do anything about compensating or about giving you something for causing all this trouble i feel like the only thing that they would maybe do is put the sbc back out like honestly guys i think they might put the sbc back out keep it with the same requirements everybody's gonna go and do it again i mean it's a decent sbc like we looked at on footbin fifty thousand coins for your best chance at a team of the year by all means have a rip right and especially after what happened yesterday everybody's gonna do it again if it gets re-released Guys, I don't think they're going to give everybody Messi. They can't do that. Again, what I just ma I mentioned about what EA wants for this game, they don't want everybody to have Messi. They're not going to take away Messi. They're not going to give everybody Messi. They're not going to give out free team of the years. They're, I don't even think they're going to give you your fodder back for completing the SBC because technically what you got from the SBC is what was advertised. It, there was nothing that you got in there. Some people were saying that um, there was a very common 86-rated gold Christiana Girelli that was coming out of the player pick, they're like, Nate, she is not a part of the release because the women's Serie A was not listed in the pack. Actually, it was. That is what the CAF abbreviation is here is, right? There's a Serie A, there's the women's Serie A, and then you have Saudi League, MLS, and WSL. So it was actually listed in there. Nothing else with this player pick was wrong except for the weight. So that's why I think, guys, it might be like the hero pack it might be like those other instances like the Neymar and the Sancho that I mentioned before and the other player pick from last year in FIFA 23 where I don't actually think we're going to get compensation after I thought about it and sat down on stream yesterday I was thinking like oh they tweeted about it maybe they're going to give us a free player pick back I don't think so anymore I honestly think that it's chalked and I think that's the last we're going to hear from EA on it now the only thing also that I saw is that they just tweeted out maintenance is going to happen for 30 minutes on a day where they just had a massive issue, they're going to do a 30-minute maintenance. Is really interesting. Don't know if that has anything to do with this game. They'll never tell us, but that's something to think about as well. So what do we do from here, guys? What do we do from here? How do we move on? I hope that that SBC is re-released because I want another chance at it. And also, how do we kind of... What do we do with our anger towards EA in this situation? Because a lot of people... Yesterday was the final straw. Like, yesterday with that pick was going to be part of a really mid content day where people probably would have also decided, nah, man, I don't want to play this game anymore. Team of the year pack weight's been terrible. You know, I can't get any higher rated fodder to craft the SBCs. I can't pack team of the years. That's the biggest complaint, right? The, the pack weight's been so mid the gameplay, right? That's a whole nother issue, right? But like, what do we do from moving on from here? Especially for a lot of people that are just so frustrated and upset. I think it was the last straw. I think a lot of people are going to be super frustrated. With this, And all I have to say with this is 
This happens every year. It's par for the course. Am I frustrated that I didn't pack Messi? Yeah. Like, I wish I would have had Messi. It's going to frustrate me loading into Weekend League and seeing Messi like every other game probably. But it's just going to be something that we're going to have to deal with now. And that's the way that I'm going to choose to look at it and go forward from here is like, okay, I'm going to make it my personal vendetta. Even though I'm a big Messi fan, I wanted to pack Messi. Still trying to pack him from MLS upgrades. I'm going to make it my personal vendetta that I learn how to move the keeper or place my defense in areas so that I can stop a messy finesse from happening or so that I can defend better. Or, or um, maybe if you want to go a little more of a ratty method, you could just quit out 0-0 whenever you see messy. I know a lot of people are going to do that. But for me, it's just got to be, all right, this happened. I can't do anything to change it myself. So I'm still going to enjoy the game in the ways that I enjoy the game. But I'm, I'm not going to say I'm not going to be frustrated about it. And uh, that's how I'm going to go forward from here, guys. Like, I'm going to keep ripping packs for Team of the Year. I'm going to hope that I can pack a blue. I know the game is a bit frustrating right now. Um, but I'm going to keep moving, and I'm going to keep going because there still is more stuff coming, and I still enjoy so much more about this game other than just that one mistake and one part of the mistake that EA made yesterday that I'm just going to keep trucking along. I'm going to keep cooking because... Again, like I said, I'm having fun with Evos, the SBC of the menu grind. Yeah, it's a bit tough, but it's it's still fun. I'm opening tons of packs every day, and you get that sense of a blue, and you have that hope, right? So there's still a lot more to come, and as we'll talk about today, there's even more content that's coming this weekend. It is a bit of a surprise. So for me, the game keeps going, and yeah, frustration is there, but just like a lot of things in life, you kind of have to deal with the hand and the cards that you're given, and you kind of just overcome it and... That's what I'm going to try to do. Like I mentioned with the Messi and how we'll try to play with against him in game. But I understand that a lot of guys are frustrated. If you got Messi, you're kind of like, I, I didn't want this. I didn't want to be enemy number one for so many people in this game right now. But um, yeah, that's just, it's very frustrating, man. And I, I think, yeah, we can be critical of EA and stuff. Um, I'm not backing them up in any way because this is 100% on them. But um, I'm glad that they got the player pick removed immediately. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's going to go down in the in the history books and the record books. Um, I wish it would have never happened looking at it now too, but we can't change it, guys. So that's how I'm going to move forward. I think that's going to be my mindset. I want to know what you guys are feeling down in the comments. Like, I know a lot of you guys are frustrated. I know a lot of you are like, Nate, I'm stopping playing this game. I'm done. I'm over it. Um, this past week has ruined it for me. Like, that's fine. Take a break if you need to take a break, for real. Um, th this game is never going to stop, though. Well, again, like I mentioned, that progression. EA wants us to keep opening packs, to keep building up our teams. Two play styles pluses, three play style pluses. It's part of the fun, and I'm here for the ride. If, if you guys are in for the ride, hop on for the ride, because it's still going to be a fun rest of the year. There's going to be a lot of really good content and probably more EA mistakes. That's just how this game goes. And I think I'm maybe a little bit more used to it as well, which makes me more like reluctant to be like, nah, man, I'm I'm off. And also this is this is my livelihood as well. So that's part of it for sure for me, just full transparency. But I'm still enjoying the game. It's just yesterday kind of like put a dent in a couple things for sure. Now, what else happened yesterday? Before we get on to some other things, I want to talk about the leaked promo that is coming next because that's the other biggest piece of news after we waffled about Messi for ages and that whole situation. Uh, guys, Future Stars is not next. Future Stars is not the next promo, which is a very big surprise. We are getting UEFA Road to the Final, which if you look at a calendar and you think about it, you're like, hmm, it actually makes sense. But live cards are coming. Road to the Final means live cards upgrading based off of, of course, the knockout rounds of the Champions League, Europa League, Conference League, the Women's Champions League as well, um, which, of course, we had the marquee matchups for. We have games, like, really soon for that. And the second week of February, I think, is when Men's Champions League kicks off. But that is our next promo, which, actually, when I saw this yesterday, I was even a little disappointed because I was like, man... Future Stars is always that promo right after the team of the year that we look forward to. But I guess EA is mixing it up this year, and I hope that it ends up being good. I also have a tinfoil hat theory. That Saliba SBC that we've been talking about that's been leaked for a while. I hope I'm wrong on this. Saliba might be today. He might be tomorrow. He might never come. Maybe Saliba was a way too early leak for, imagine, Road to the Knockouts. Imagine a Road, a road to the Knockouts live Saliba card on the market or maybe even an SBC that is dropped this Friday if that promo starts that would be very interesting maybe that's the reason why we haven't seen it yet so that's just another theory about where Saliba has been otherwise right now we're assuming that Saliba is joining the likes of um 
footmiss Gabriel Jesus and uh, other players in the SBC graveyard, shall you say. So, yeah, Road to the Final, we'll talk a lot about it. We'll, of course, get you guys ready for that promo because it's just like Road to the Knockout, but even bigger stakes, bigger price swings. Um, I would say bigger upgrades as well. Usually they allow these cards to get upgraded more, maybe double play styles this year. We'll have to see how they do that and how fast they keep putting double play styles on a lot of the upcoming cards. That'll probably determine a lot of the hype for this promo, in my opinion, as well. So we'll watch out for more leaks, maybe a loading screen today. We'll keep an eye out for that. Now, what happened to the market yesterday while all this madness was going on? Well, not a whole lot. The market was pretty stagnant yesterday. Fodder moved up a little bit right away after the SBC was released. But since it got taken down, um, fodder cooled off a little. 85s are definitely up. Um, 88s are definitely up as well because 87s and 86s are basically extinct. One thing I will tell you today on this game to watch out for is watch out for your 85s and your 88s and maybe even your 89s again because the big icon player pick is refreshing it's not going to be a crazy day today on wednesday in my opinion but yesterday wasn't supposed to be either and well we know how that went but the 88 plus winter wild cards um what's the other ones thunderstruck and base or is there centurions involved as well base thunderstruck winter wild cards this is refreshing again today, so watch out for that. Again, it's 86, 86, and 87 rated squads, one in form. So watch out for those 88s and 85s because, again, a couple of those fodder ratings are extinct on the market right now. And the rest of the updates today, daily login refreshes, the 85 double refreshes, the 8220 refreshes, and I think maybe the 83... 85 plus times three attackers, I think, should be uh, refreshing today, but it doesn't say there's a timer on that. So I'm not entirely sure how that's going to play out and how it's going to work out, but one of those should be refreshing today as well. And then the market in total, like, I mean, I haven't sold anything, but I haven't been trading really with anything at all. A lot of the team of the year prices just kind of slowly keep going up for most of them. I look at the team of the year women's card. Sophia Smith is 2.7. Ona Batier is 2 million coins. Wow. That's crazy. Karchawi is 2.4. Sam Kerr is 2 million coins as well. Like These cards are just going up, guys. They're continuing to go up, which is absolutely absurd. Ruben Diaz is now extinct at 3.8 mil. The one thing that I was talking about yesterday on stream is if you're looking to buy any of these cards, I would not buy any of them that are close to their extinct price. And now with them just keep going up, it's like... At this point, you probably don't want to buy too many of them. Or if you're going to buy, just don't hold on to it forever because these prices are absolutely ridiculous. But they are very rare and, of course, very, very difficult to pack. So that's kind of there. Trading with out-of-packs cards, still the best way to go. Honorable mentions, I still have all the ones that I bought. Um, Kim Min Jae is doing very good. Diani doing very good. Hopefully these cards continue to rise back up. They're running lightning rounds every day. But it's really not impacting those cards too much except for the lower tier. Also, a quick little update. There's no update on the counter, right? Still only packed one team of the year. But after a lot more packs yesterday, I am happy to say Sawa has been completed. She's going to go into the squad for Balak. Kim Min Jae was packed. I have now packed five honorable mentions. Three Olgas. Carmona, left back, right? The one that everybody's packing. I packed Kim Min Jae yesterday from an objective pack. And 84 times three. Really excited for this card because now I'm going to have an easy link to the Alfonso Davies that I'm doing. Kim Min Jae is going to slot in at left center back for me. Davies at left back. Sessegnon, we're going to have to figure something out for the team. Packed a Dina Talley from a hero pick yesterday. That was cool. And then also got Ederson from Weekend League Rewards. So five honorable mentions and one team of the year. Millie Bright is all I have to my name right now with two days to go. Let Less than two days to go in our pack crafting spam. I'm still opening a lot of La Liga premiums. I'm doing every single upgrade pack. And I've almost finished the uh, team of the year crafting upgrade. Like I've got maybe 15 completions to go and we'll have that done. We'll be doing that today on stream. We'll be continuing to rip packs, doing the pack grind, rinsing into upgrades and still fingers crossed hoping to pack a team of the year of some real team of the year that i want those gold letters man we're hunting for those gold letters not just the silver and the white right when you get a nominee it goes gold when you get a real team of the year player so yeah guys that's the whole situation again we talked about Messi for a while my thoughts are still all over the place on that for sure but it is definitely one of the most crazy things i have ever seen in this game like ea just gave out probably Messi's last team of the year card to thousands of people on this game for 50,000 coins and that is crazy and I understand if it makes people upset I'm there too um 
But yeah, wow, I don't even have any more words to describe what happened, man. I want to hear you guys' thoughts in the comments. I want to have a conversation about this because this is something we're going to be talking about for a while. If you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions as well. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys in a Twitch stream today. Link in the bio. Peace out.